Hello, and welcome to another fact-filled, fun adventure video from Havoc Sun. Okay, so today I am going to be uh, trying to use the Rio PMP300. Now, uh, the thing about the Rio PM3 hundred is that see that pause on that 300 yeah I keep it in this little case I mean she's that important to me so pull out of that here she is now let's talk a little bit about this okay first of all the diamond Rio came out I believe it came out uh, in uh, Let's see, I think mid-1998 from the Diamond Multimedia Systems Company from out of San Jose, California. Uh, it was the first MP3 player. As a matter of fact, when it first came out, it was sued. Several different record companies and, I don't know, that whole industry tried to sue it and stop it from releasing. And it was delayed, but it... It, uh... It's still released, and it was the beginning of the MP3 craze. This was the first MP3 player. Uh, definitely the first MP3 player that was successful, but I think it was the first. So it has your basics, and this was well before iPod and everything else. She has, uh, see if I can get close enough to it. You have your rewind, your fast forward, your stop, your play and your pause. You also have your volume control, that's those two up there. You can do random or repeat. The A, B is a, like a four or five second repeat of a song. I'm not really sure what that was all about. The top here you have, I think this way is a better way to look at it. Yeah, the top here you have a menu uh, and the EQ, which I think is like five options, and the intro plays an intro of some music. That's your earphone connector. Uh, it had a flaw. One of it was the the first flaw. One of two flaws all hinged around this hinge. So this hinge opens up, and it's a very weak hinge, and they would break. And when they either broke here at the top, and it rendered the battery compartment useless. Now this is back in the days when there were no real they didn't use a rechargeable. It used one double A battery and that was it. The other problem was sometimes it broke here and what it did was it made the um, smart media card not acceptable. It wouldn't lock in. Now this is I don't know if anyone remembers these. These are the old style smart media cards. This actually came off of my Olympus. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, the the Rio player came originally with 32 megabytes, which was about 30 minutes. You add the smart media card to it, and you could get. 64 megabytes which is about six about an hour and this little lever right here is how you pulled it up get the card out bring it back in little waistband clip right here diagram to the way the battery goes I don't really remember the length of how long this battery lasts. I don't imagine it lasted this long. This was a donation to a friend of mine. His name was Blake. He gave me this, and he gave me an old retro. Uh, I think it was a P4. Kind of cool. It used the old style pin. I think this was a 40 pin. Don't quote me on that. 41 pin connector. This was before, you know, the old. Or this is before the mini USB that you find in phones and things like that. And I showed this before. Here's the the manual for it. And if you look close, you can see that's what the uh, the display would look like when it's in operation. I don't think I, I 
don't have a battery for it right now, so I don't have it in this, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this thing to operate, but one goes here, part one end of the cable, plugs in there, and the other end, and this is pretty interesting, this is a pass-through parallel port adapter. And uh, basically pass-through means you plug it in on this end, and you're able to run your printer on that end. I don't know if you can print something while you're using this. Normally you could not. And then you'll notice there's a receiver for the other end of the cable. Very nicely displayed that which end is up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this and we're going to plug it into my laptop. Uh, I, I just did an earlier video on this laptop. I just completely re put it back together, new screen. And after I did that, I realized I had a broken hinge. Oh well, I gotta take it apart again. What are you gonna do? So uh, in the back of my laptop, let's see if I can get down lower so you can see. We're gonna be plugging in, now uh, this has got a docking station that I ordered for it, it's kinda of cool. I also um, have something else for it that I'm gonna show in another video. I put a mouse on it, but with the docking station, you get two separate connectors, whereas with the laptop, you have to use one. So basically, now it's not a good idea to plug these in while you have the computer on. So bear with me real quick. Let me pause it while I shut it off, plug it in, and then turn it back on. Okay, the laptop is shut off, and if you want to know more about this laptop, I have a complete video on it earlier. It's sad that this happened after I reassembled it. I mean, it's not a real problem. This top part comes off real quick, and um, I'm just going to get another uh, hinge. I see a lot of them uh, on eBay. This is a very com common problem, so I'm just going to order another one. I should have ordered two. Oh well. So anyway, this plugs into the printer port. Would be nice if I put it in the right way. Let's try that again. I'll screw that in later. But right now for demo purposes. So yeah, the, the hinge, uh, just it's disheartening because I just put so much time and energy into this. So let's see if I can raise this up a little bit in my beautiful, this is a Platinum Plus by Sunpack uh, tripod. I love it. Very nice. So, okay, then once you've got it on, you go ahead and turn the laptop back on. I just have always heard that it's a good idea never to plug in one of those, especially keys. You have a key. Don't ever plug in a uh, you know, key that plugs into your printer port with your laptop on. I've lost a few keys that way. Keys are like for software upgrades or things that you're doing like for plotters and things. Uh, you know, this is kind of a cool little setup. And one of the things that I noticed on the specs, when I was reading the specs on this, check this out. Total harmonic distortion of the Diamond PMP300 Rio. 0 0.01, wow. I mean, I've got a Bang & Olufsen uh, receiver, amp receiver that it isn't even that clean. Uh, Olsen or Olsen, I, I never get that right. So uh, it takes a single 1.5 AAA battery. The transfer rate is 100 kilobytes a second. It's about six megabytes a minute. So, I, I mean, it's slow. <laughs> Okay, uh, you, this never gets old for me. I love, I love hearing that. On my earlier video, I had no sound, I had no nothing. I just installed a uh, brand new ver, uh, 
copy of Windows 98. There it is, right here. All right, so it comes with these discs. This is the installation, and this is this, the music sampler. So we are going, it's kind of a cool little, I mean, it's a tight little disc, but it'll actually hold two CDs. Just like that, kind of cool. But I'm sure it's very delicate. Like, don't breathe on it too heavy, Havoc. Crack the living crap out of it. Okay, let's put in the installation CD first. Let's see if she auto plays. For our Diamond Rio. Uh, this was a very popular unit. Uh, I remember it. Wow, looks like it completely takes over the screen. That's kind of awesome. What do we got here? Up. Let's see if we can get a close up of this thing. Hang on while I readjust the tripod. Beautiful. Okay, welcome. Install mode. That's where we want to install it. Oh, look at that. Music match jukebox. Music samples, of course. Well, you remember that? Music match jukebox so the Rio PMP 300 super lightweight only 2.4 ounces 100% digital mp3 audio no moving parts won't skip or jitter palm size for easy portability 12 hours of playtime on a single AA battery well that's interesting Upgrade upgradable flash memory I did upgrade it and create your own playlist okay you gotta remember that back in 1998 this was groundbreaking people were freaking on this thing uh, these were not cheap either um, I'm sure I wonder what would happen if I even tried to register I mean is diamond multimedia corporation is that even still around San Jose California so music match jukebox well I remember it was either this or uh, what was the other one uh, kick Salama's ass what was that uh, God, I can't remember it now. I'm sure someone can put in the... Down below in the comments which one I'm thinking about. Would I like Music Match to be my default player? Well, currently I don't have any, so why not? It'd be kind of cool to see how it works. Uh, really kicks the llama's ass. What was that? Uh, this would be killing me because I used to use it all the time. I mean, I'm so sick of iTunes now. I, I mean, and all the upgrades and the... I'm probably just going to go to Spotify. A couple of people have told me that it just hasn't changed. All right. Well, gosh, was it that quick? Did it install? Now, I don't think it's going to see this because it doesn't have a battery. But let's just see. It. I mean, I may go run downstairs and see if I can find one. But let's see what we got here. Yeah, uh, looks like playlist. We can build a playlist. Oh, CD. All right. Hang on, I'm going to go get a battery and see if I can get this thing going. Okay, uh, I have a battery in, and it looks like I've got something on the screen, all one. And as soon as I turned it on, it flashed real quickly 64 megabytes. I don't know what that means. It's like that's an E. It's 32. 32 songs? Well, let's see if... Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, and it's got music on it. So it's seeing it. Wow, that is awesome, it works. So let's see if we can play. This is his original music. 
This is Alpha Blix. This is what he had. So he was in the Green Day. Let's see what it. Let's see if I can play one of these from the Rio. Doesn't look like it's going to let me play it. In view playlist, I can edit it. Can open, but it doesn't look like you can play from here. That's interesting. Okay, well, this is the music that's currently on it. Uh, I wonder if I hit play from here, if it'll make, if it, if it'll run. Let's see. Well, it is playing, but I don't have a set, set of headphones on it, so I can't see. And apparently this cable doesn't bring the music across. But you can see the counter. It is playing. The counter's moving up. Uh, go to the... Song 2. Let's see if I can go to Song 2. Song 3. Hit play. Volume. Huh. So it looks like it's working. Just can't. I can't uh, hear it off of this through that cable. That's interesting. You can see the music. So you can go ahead and, you know, uh, make a playlist, I guess, from that. But you can't. Play it directly from this cable. You know, you probably could go output headphones into the input of your laptop and hear it that way. All right, fine. I don't know if this is going to work, but I hadn't. I went ahead and put a cable from the output of the headphone jack into the laptop. So let's see, I think I have to, but wait a minute, hang on one sec, there's another way. Okay, so I'm going to be playing through my laptop speakers, I basically, I've, I just remembered on the back of this cradle, it has a line in. So let's see if that works. Let's pick song one, which would be Green Day's uh, Minority. Let's see what we got with that. That's going to run off the laptop speakers. It's probably not going to be that great, but let's take a listen. Oh, wow. It works. It's freaking awesome. Wow. That's pretty cool. All right, let, what is the intro? Let's try that. That's weird. So it just plays a little of the song. Yeah, that's what it does. Well, that's cool. EQ, let's take a look. What we have for EQ. Huh. When I press it, I don't really see anything. Power off. Let's see the six. I don't really see anything happening when I press EQ. But I don't know if you can see this. But we have the song, the um, minute count, 160 k bit a second, and 
Oops, sorry. And then there's a battery icon, show full, shows full. And then the volume shows max. So I'm turn it down a little bit. Yeah. Okay, hey, well, it looks like it's working. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. You want to take a look at the sample music that comes with it? I guess, to turn it off, you just hit power off and it shuts off. So let's take a look at the MP3 sampler version 1.00. That's always scary. <laughs> well, it's cool that it works. Wow. It's interesting that you have to go into the music and have it play a different way, that this connection uh, on the Rio won't let it run directly from uh, the Rio to the computer. That's interesting. Oh, it looks like it's auto-sampling the music. So let me see if I can zoom in there for you so you guys can get a close look at this. And we have Diamond Home, Rio Info, and how to download. And then there's si sites. Uh, boy, I wonder if any of these are still open. MP3.com, Something Tunes, The Audio Diner. M Juice Music Match. Wow, I don't believe any of these are open. Let's click how to download. Thanks for your purchase of the Rio PMP300. On this CD, you'll find a collection of MP3 tracks from various artists that be can be stored and played on your PC or and or your Rio. All the audio tracks are organized by on online audio sites, i.e. mp3.com, good noise, etc. To download, download these files, simply click on the online audio site of choice, for example, mp3.com. Select the track you wish to download and double click on the track. Wow. All right. Well, let's try that. So, uh, this just saying click on them. So, let's click on mp3.com. Oh, yeah, here they are. Uh, well, let's just try the first one. We have three tracks from 13 stories. And if you click here for more information on 13 stories, let's just see what happens if I... Save this one. Well, this for right now. Let's just open it. Well, that seems to be a glitch because I have it inserted. All right, so let's just look at the disc itself. Because I have this, the CD in... What's going on? Well, that's weird. Because it's playing after all. <laughs> oh, remember the days back at Windows 98? So it's playing. So I haven't really examined what's on here. Do a quick explore to take a look. Oh, wow. There's quite a lot. Eric Clapton, Last Train? Wow, some of these are nice. 
Good sized chunky files too. Wow. Interesting. So that's running off a of music match. I, you know, it's been so long, I don't even know how to run this thing. Okay. Awesome. You have now taken a very good and close look at the Rio. Diamond Rio. PMP 300. It was groundbreaking in its day. Com completely awesome. Again, like always, thanks for watching. I tru truly do appreciate it. I got another little surprise. I'll give you a sample. This was a gift from my wife. Let's see if I can... Oops, going the wrong way. There we go. She bought me this after I bought this Toshiba laptop. You remember? PDAs? <laughs> Still in the box? Well, I used it, so... I don't think I have the CDs, the install stuff, but I'm going to uh, try to get it to power up and plug it into this and see what happens. That'll be on my next video, the PDAs. All right. Super value PDA for the way you live, work, and play. Thanks for watching, you guys. You have a great day and a better life. See ya.